But I'm popping like a Kardashian. Huh. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Hey guys, it's me, Lonnie. Where you been? Where you been? Where you been, bitch? So guys, if this is the first time at my channel, then you've been really missing out, sis. You've been really missing out. And if, um, let me not say sis, because you might be a nigga. You might be a whole nigga, so you've been missing out. And if you are a returning subscriber, then you know that I fucks with you heavy and whatever. But anyway, guys, oh my god. Okay, so before I get into the story time, and this story time is going to be really, really, it's going to be fun, light-hearted, and you know, you can be sitting there getting all the tea with me, or you can judge me all you want, I don't give a heck, okay, I don't give a heck if you judge me, I don't give a heck, okay, so, um, my hair, really quickly, because we need to talk about my hair, because I know y'all be loving this bob and whatever, you be thinking, she look cute, she look cute, so, Okay, so my hair is from Ad Beauty Clay Hair. Ad Beauty Clay Hair, I'm going to um, put like their information below in the bio. So make sure you check them out. They sent me this really cute bob. Oh my god, I look like such a little cute princess. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, yeah. When I first started YouTube, I made myself a not a promise, but I spoke to myself and I said I would never ever do story times on this particular ex. Because this particular ex obviously, like, broke my heart into a million pieces. After him, I was like, went through a severe depression. But then it's like, I'm sure someone else can relate out there. So I want to share my story. But for, this story is not going to be a sad story. It might evoke some sadness in me. I'm going to try to keep it together. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, I, if if we if I talk about this nigga for more than half an hour i'll just start bawling i can't help it i i just it's just a very difficult you know what i'm saying like you have to understand this is the man i thought was gonna be my husband so talking about him is a bit like oh my god like yeah anyway i'm i'm going to be revealing a lot in this story time guys a lot so i just hope that you appreciate my transparency because I don't think people are usually this transparent I don't think people are usually this genuine and real and will tell you like like I'm talking to you lot like you're literally my brethren like we're in a room together and I'm telling you about my ex like for real because what I'm telling you is like I'm exposing myself basically okay so you better appreciate it sis <laughs> so let me tell you how I met the love of my life or whatever so I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100% true. I don't give a heck. Like, I don't give a heck. If you clock who it is, I don't give a heck either. <sighs> Refreshing. So this is, this is years ago. Four, four and a half years, whatever. It's a, lot, a while ago. So, it was around Christmas, you know. It's cold outside, you know. You know. It's cold outside. The weather outside is frightful. And the sun is so delightful. It doesn't know where to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Okay? That's the vibe. Okay? That's the vibe. It was Christmas. It was Christmas or just after Christmas. I want to say just after Christmas. Oh my god! Just after Christmas! Oh my god! Oh my god, sorry. I'm just like, it's coming back to me. Oh my god. I can really feel it. I can feel the, the Christmas. I can feel the, the day. I can feel the emotion. Do you know how much I remember this time? I remember my nails, fam. I remember my nails. I had crystal bedazzled sparkly nails, darling. Crystal bedazzled sparkly nails, darling. To match the um, festivities, you know? The weather outside is frightful. And uh, it's so delightful. I do put a place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Yeah. Do you get it? So, um, he was chocolate, so it was different for me, but he was he was still cute. But I was just like, mm. but I gave him my, I told him, yeah, whatever, give him my number anyway. You never know in it. And I was just being like very standoffish. But then one time now, I was a bit bored in it. And I remember, because I got bored, it's Chris okay, on Christmas Day, my cousins came around. And one of my cousins was like talking about him. She's talking about him. I said, like, my man, oh my God, I rate him. I like him. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was thinking, really? And she goes, yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. And I was like, oh, okay. So then I thought, mm, 
you know what? I should just go on a date. So I have a funny story to tell my cousin. So I'm like, let me just go on a date with this nigga. Like, to, like I'm, I'm being dead serious, guys. This is how I felt at the time. You know me, I'm transparent. Like, I, I've tightened this a love of my life because I'm telling you the real. This is how stupid I was at the time. Like, so anyway, we plan a date. He picks me up in an Audi, an Audi TT. And I get in the car, I look at him. He's wearing a hat. I remember he's wearing a woolly hat, like up to there. He looks cute, he smells nice, whatever, cool. I'm like, hi. He's like, you're right, cool. He looks the same as the pictures. I wouldn't say he looked better or worse. He just looked the same. So we get to, he, t he took me to the sort of like bistro. Like, it was like a pub, but it's like a posh pub. You know, you can get like posh pubs, like. Do you know what I mean? You can get like a pub, but it's like a restaurant. It's like a restaurant style pub. It's like posh. He took me to one of them out of ends, but close to both of us. So I must have got in there now. You know, I didn't even make that much effort. I ain't gonna lie to you, sis. I look cute, but I didn't make mad effort because I didn't know this was the love of my life. I'm like, so I, I looked cute, but I didn't make like mad effort. So I think I was wearing at the time like jeans and a top. And I was wearing like, I had these like boots. They were like, they weren't mad tall, they were like little boots, the heel was like that small and they went like up to my knees, I, I look cute, whatever so he came to pick me up, I got in the car, I was like hi, he was like you alright, I was like yeah whatever he, we got there, we got to a restaurant and then he, I don't think he was like mad gentlemanly he didn't like open the door for me, I think he might have opened the door to the restaurant for me but nowhere else really nigga so anyway, like I was saying so we got in the restaurant. Now, we sit down and we're talking. And for some reason, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was just in a good mood. For whatever reason, I was in a great, fantastic mood that day. So, we're having banter, I'm vibing, I'm enjoying myself. I didn't really f read into it. I I'm thinking I'm having fun because of my own self. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a lit time. And I'm bringing the lit time out of you. I'm not really thinking this is because we have a vibe at, at, at this point. So he ordered, and he's being very generous. He's like, I, like, I literally order everything. He ordered us so much food. And he ordered, and then he tells me that these cocktails are banging, these cocktails are banging. He has a sweet tooth like me. So he's just like, let's just order bare cocktails. And I'm like, cool. So he orders bare cocktails, very pretty, like whatever. So then I, I start to drink and I'm a lightweight. I'm a proper lightweight. Like I drink once uh, a month, if anything. I don't even really drink like, like, I'm not the type of person that will just be chilling and drinking. Like, so basically it, when I do have alcohol, it gets straight into the blood system and I'm off. Do you get it? So and that's how I've always kind of been in it so I'm a social drinker so I'm drinking the cocktails and like by one cocktail I'm buzzed so imagine I'm in a great mood I'm in a fantastic mood I'm I've drank a cocktail I'm having a good time I'm feeling merry and this nigga's cute so I'm just like <laughs> yes, you're so funny <laughs> like <laughs> oh boy you're so stupid you know what I'm saying I'm like oh really oh my god really oh yeah oh okay so oh my god so how long you lived in like yeah, i'm not gonna say my area but if you watch my other videos you you clock it oh how long you lived in, oh really what's it oh you want to go to oh really <laughs> i'm doing all of that stupidness yeah so anyway now um i must have thought to myself you know what let me go sit next to him because we're sitting across each other let me go sit next to my man so i i get up and i go sit next to my man so i'm sitting next to my man now and I'm just kind of like, yeah, so I'm sitting next to my man. And we're now we're just sitting across each other, yeah? And the, the, the woman's bringing us cocktails and food. More cocktails, more cocktails, more cocktails. And we're just like looking at each other, vibes in. And I'm really sorry, sis. Like, I was just fucked. I was overly confident. I just looked at this guy now. And I looked at him, yeah, because I'm buzzed. I looked at him and I thought, you're cute, you know? I was like, your lips, oh my God, your lips, babes. Oh my God, your lips, babes. So I just started, I need, I need, I need to, I need to demonstrate what I was doing. I need to do this to him. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'm doing this. Can you imagine? I'm so naughty. <laughs> I'm so naughty. I am, I am actually a seductress. I never, I am, I could actually say I'm a seductress. And I don't, as much as you don't think I'm loud and all of this, like when I'm with a boy, like I'm proper chilled and I'm sexy. I can keep, I can be so sexy. I completely change, guys. I'm not like this loud. <laughs> I'm not annoying. I'm not annoying with a boy. So, anyway, oh, my nipples just come out. 
So anyway, I'm touching him there, yes, I'm stroking that, stroking his thing in it. And I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I, I swear to God, um, at some point, at some point, I, cause I'm drunk now, I'm brave, innit? Cause before, even though we're sitting next to each other, we're talking, we're looking at each other, like, glazing, oh, you're, you're eating, like, oh my god, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh, swear, like, we look at whatever, but we're not deep glazing into each other's eyes. But at some point, I turned, I just turned to him, yeah, and I'm touching his finger, and I'm looking, and I looked in this nigga's eyes. Oh my god, that was it, fam. I swear to God, there was something powerful in his eyes imagine it's our first fucking day and okay as much as you're not thinking it's the alcohol it's it wasn't the alcohol because obviously you're gonna hear about him some more like this is some real, this was just some real movie shit this was love at first sight i'm not gonna lie to you gave me the alcohol just sped it up i'm not gonna lie it gave me the courage to look at this nigga de dead in the eyes so i look at him in the eyes yeah and yo like his eyes yo his eyes are so fine and his lips and i was just thinking and his lips are bigger than what I'm used to, so I just thought, hmm, don't know, I wonder what it's like to kiss these juicy lips. So I kissed him. I kissed him. I literally was doing all of that, so I kissed him. And I just kept kissing. I, I swear to God, I was so forward. I was, so I, was, I, was, I was like so rapey. I was so forward. So I kept kissing him. I kept kissing him. And we were drunk. We were, yo, I was, fam. <laughs> We were just fucking lips in. I'm not gonna lie to you, we was lips in in that fucking restaurant. And I just thought, oh my god. I'm having a fantastic time. I swear to God, the, even though this story isn't the craziest, wildest story, that this shit doesn't happen to me no more. I can't go on a date with a guy and, uh, or a nigga and tell you that the sparks are mad and the chemistry is what I can't I can't do that. That doesn't happen. Not the way it did that time. Like that doesn't happen. This is some different level of voodoo, yeah? The black magic, the black magic my guy is putting on me. It's a different level of black magic. You get it? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a different level of black magic. It's a different level of voodoo. Hey! You know what I'm saying? Yo, we're lipsing, we're lipsing. Oh my God, I can't oh my God, if I even think about it now. It was mad. Oh. oh, it was. Oh, <laughs> mm, yeah, yes. It was amazing. It was amazing, amazing chemistry. Yeah. Oh my god. Sorry, it was... Oh my god. Oh, take me back that night, please. Oh my god, take me back that night. It was amazing. It was amazing. I just, oh my god, like, fuck in hell. It was amazing. So, anyway, we finished drinking and eating and stuff. So, then I'm like, look, and he, obviously, he took, he paid for the bill because he's a gentleman. And then we got into the car and, which is really bad, do not drink and drive, but he, I'm not going to lie to you, he drove and drove. <laughs> so, anyway, we get, we get to um, his yard now and he just said that his, his yard is actually around the corner from this be sure pub thing it's only five minutes we're only in the car for five minutes and he stops he takes me to his yard he lives in a very lovely and big house and he says i'm gonna go i need the toilet i'm not gonna lie before i drop you home oh i need to go and i i just went toilet i just went toilet in the restaurant five minutes ago but i need toilet again so we go into the house we sneak in because it's mum and dad that obviously upstairs in it so we sneak into the yard now yeah we sneak into the hard yard yeah he goes toilet no he let me go toilet first yeah then he went toilet so we're patterned we're patterned yeah so once he's come he's come out of the the the, the bathroom i'm ready to um go back in the car so he can drop me home so um i must have gone to open the door so to, to ready to leave, yeah. I'm, I've, I've relieved myself of of of, non, of the wee wee, and I'm like, oh cool. So I go to open the door. He then shuts the door. <laughs> you naughty boy. <laughs> what a naughty boy. Oh my god. So let me just drink some water. So he closes the door, whatever. And then he takes me into the living room. Mind you, it's like, it must be at this point, like midnight, yeah? Could it be midnight? Yeah, maybe. Because I'm thinking, people can still be awake then. 
at midnight people are still awake on the weekend i don't i'm surprised maybe midnight maybe 11 30 because i think we we must have gone to a restaurant late then maybe we went at nine and we left at 11 and we who knows in it so but it's, it's definitely past 11 but I'm, no one's downstairs everyone's upstairs everyone's gone to bed or gone to their rooms so we go in there now if all the lights are off here so he leaves the lights off he doesn't turn them on and he sits on the chair in it um but he sits not the, on not on properly on the chair like me like he sits on the the arm bit of the chair so he's still looking weak. he's i'm short so he's still kind of like my height he might, that's how short i am you know so he's sitting on the on the on the arm bit and uh um we're still a similar height and then he just grabs me and you know we start lipsing and i'm enjoying the kiss in it but at this point i don't know if it's the love of my life or it's the alcohol i'm not gonna lie to you i just feel buzz i feel waved and this nigga's lips is nice this nigga's lips is sexy he's a very good kisser surprisingly like i'm not gonna lie to you surprising because not all people can kiss you know but surprisingly he was a very good kisser and um okay so we move on we move on so then he says let's go to the sofa there's another sofa and i'm like okay cool so i'm up for some kissing and some fondling like why not like i'm in my head i'm thinking this doesn't happen to me every day b i don't like it's hard for me to go on a date and and, and like someone like this so i'm think like i on a rules guys if i had to mention how many times i've gone on a date and felt amazing afterwards like oh my god i really like him in my life it's like three times it's not something it's not something that happens all the time in it so for some reason i wasn't using my brain i was just going with my emotions which is really stupid it could have really backfired but we move so i'm i'm, I'm so anyway on the sofa now we're lips and we're lips and we're lips in oh he's then he's he lifted my top and i was wearing like i had cleavage on and like i didn't have a bra on it was just like this top this not this top but similar very like sexy and i didn't have a bra on like i don't have a bra underneath this so if you lift my top my tits will just come out so he just lifted my top and you know he started like <laughs> he started kissing my boobies or whatever and i was just like oh my god and um we started lip -sync. oh my god it was so amazing i can't lie to you guys it was so amazing and then um I, I'm so now I'm ready to go home in it because I'm I'm not gonna lie to you guys like I'm a good girl I don't do I don't do stuff like this like it's time to go home I shouldn't have why am I in your house lips in you and why why is your mouth all over my tits like it's time to go home and it's time to be a lady like like I said you're a road man and you're like a aspiring rapper like I need to go home I'm so so sorry like I don't need to be here so anyway before uh, we go home I look outside the garden I turned around to look into his garden I'm nosy so I always wanted to look in the garden like oh my god your garden's big that's what I'm thinking oh your garden's big your garden's big when I turn around so tell me where my man's dick is at his dick is out and I'm I, I, okay let me explain something to you if a normal boy did this to me on a regular day I would be like what are you doing put it away but i was buzzed and when i saw the sausage i was very impressed i was like oh my god is that for me <laughs> i was like is that for me and i was just like i just looked at him and i thought this is what wait this is what you're hiding like who the fuck and actually guys before this the last time i had got laid and this is me being very honest so this is december the last time i got laid was maybe it wasn't that long before that it was maybe september so like kind of three months but um that's not that long and i, I know you might be like god that's that's kind of long it's not long for me if you if you talk to me today like the last time i had sex was jam so we're in what are we in july so that's like six months so and last year i went through i think I, there was a time i didn't have sex for eight months so three months really for me like it's actually or like like very good like i must be in a very good for me to be dating and out here and actually trying to meet guys and i met someone three months ago maybe it didn't work out we dated and then now i've met someone three months later like I'm, that's me doing well like that doesn't happen to me today i don't like people i don't really form connections with boys i have a big wall up like huge wall up i don't know it's a bit of a fan i'm not gonna lie to you but like i said i don't give a heck anyone that has a problem with this video and wants to call me a fat i don't really give a fuck because this is my this was my husband do you know what i'm saying so um he took it out and I'm not gonna lie like <laughs> you know i kissed it i kissed it like i put my lips on it and you know i just i don't know what came over me and do you know what's weird guess why that, that's weird that is the first time in my life i've ever seen someone i've ever met just met someone they just whipped their thing out and i'm on it
That's the first time that's ever happened. Don't get me wrong. If you ask me how many times I've had sex on a first date, it's probably twice. Because I went what I went through with this guy, like for me it's chemistry. But like I said before that, it was looks. So we done that now. So he now he now um but it wasn't for long by the way. I, I was being I was just teasing in it, so I think it was like maybe a minute it was really shit it was really really shit it was like a minute maybe four kisses or five i don't know fucking hell it was really shit and then i stopped because i was thinking um you don't deserve this i just met you <laughs> so i was like okay take me home now like literally i was like okay let's go i mean he was like to me no 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 like oh let me like please let me put it in and i was just like no and he was like please 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 and like, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, like I was waved, I was I was feeling it, like he's so hot peng. It's not even he's so peng, he's just oh he's just tall and dark and handsome and just so mm, like mm, are you, like what? It's like daddy daddy, do you know what I mean? So So he must I think he just turned me around, I'm not gonna lie to you. And he <laughs> without using a condom as well, I was so irresponsible. How bad am I? Without using a condom, he put his thing in. I swear to God, I was such a bitch, yeah, because it was maybe four or five strokes at most. Then I said, stop, because I kind of came to my senses at that point. So weird, I snapped out of, I snapped, and I was like, what am I doing? Like, I saw I snapped. After four to five strokes, I snapped. I was like, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh my God, I just met this boy. Why am I doing this? Like, we had been talking for like three weeks before we met up, but still, I just kind of thought, why am I doing this? Like, this is really naughty. Like, he's not going to take me seriously. Then I kind of thought, oh my God, what am I doing? So I was like, no, I don't want to do it anymore. Let's go home. So he was like, cool, don't worry. So we got in the car. He dropped me home. He lips me. Now I come home. So when I got into my room, I had to think about how I felt about what had happened. Like, am I upset? Am I ashamed? Or is it calm? And I thought to myself, He's hood. You you date footballers, isn't it? You're, my ex before him, like a year before that, I had a boyfriend that I went out with for a year, and he he was a Premier League footballer and he was worth thirty million. Like so, in my head, I'm sitting in my room saying, "You've dated a Premier League footballer. You've dated um like I, I dated like some entrepreneurs like, and I've dated a, like a son of a billionaire." So I'm thinking. This is like this is a whole hood nigga who's an aspiring rapper. Like you don't need to cry over him. Just go to bed. It's cool. It's a mistake. Whatever. So the next day he messages me. So I'm thinking, okay, like it wasn't that bad, I guess. And he's like, can I see you today? This is the next day. The next day he wants to see me. I have never had this. This is what I'm trying to tell you lot. I had never had this. We've had a fire date, and you're asking to see me the next day. So in my head I'm thinking. Well, okay, maybe he just wants to finish off what we started. But I thought, whatever. I'm, I'm very, very, si I'm very single at this point. I'm so single. Will it hurt me to get laid? What's the worst that can happen? Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking it is what it is. Whatever. It's just sex. Like so. That's what I'm thinking. But I meet up with him. He took me to the Hill Inn. He he tried to book the best room. We done our thing. We stayed the night. He got me breakfast, and then he. I'm just fast forwarding this bit. Oh, we had this we had full on sex this, this this time, yeah. Um we had full on breakfast. Then he took me home and he said that he wanted to see me again that day. Yeah. And I flopped that because I was like, no, 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 like I can't remember what I was doing, but I was like, no, no, no. But basically he went to see me three times in a row. <sighs> and then I'm gonna tell you a lot when the penny dropped, yeah when the penny dropped that this was some this wasn't like normal like this is some weird shit because the thing is with love is it creeps up on you you know like sometimes okay not with everyone i'm talking about with some people fall in love with everyone they date let's just let's let's keep it 100 percent real some girls every single guy that's half decent looking and got some money and has a bit of swag every single guy they're gonna date with they're gonna catch feelings for there are loads of girls like that i'm not like that I'm very, 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 very particular with. I'm just pati I'm just really, really fussy. I'm really bougie. I'm really stush. It's very difficult for me to fall for people these days. I'm just. It's like I've got a black heart. Like I don't know in it. So, hence why I don't have sex. It's just it's pointless. It's pointless to have sex with a black heart. It's you, no one's gonna enjoy it. I'm not gonna enjoy it anyway. Like it's no. I, like I want love. So I just need to work through my issues and my trauma. But basically, which I am doing, guys. But basically. 
we um so we went hilton and he dropped me home he transferred me the next day so when the penny dropped yeah is one time yeah three weeks into it three weeks guys three weeks into it i'm starting to like my feelings are starting to go a bit mad for this guy and i'm thinking what the fuck I, obviously we talk every day and i'm thinking what the fuck am i falling for a hood nigga like imagine i'm a imagine i've never had guys i've never had that and you know what I didn't appreciate it at the time. I didn't appreciate how much he liked me at the time. I was... Sometimes you, life experience teaches you to appreciate somebody who, like, really just... <sighs> Sorry. It's a very difficult so it's very difficult for me to talk about him guys. You know what I'm saying? It was really difficult for me to talk about him. So, um <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Whew. 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 We're not gonna have a nervous breakdown. So guys, so basically, sorry, I have to it's so fuck. I have to actually snap myself out of it. But yeah, basically, and I, I, okay, I'd never had that before. I've had people really like me. Don't get me wrong. Um, I've had people um, even tell me they love me. I've had, I've, I've had like good relationships before that. But this, this nigga wanted to see me every day. Like, um. So this is when the penny dropped. Yeah, he picked me up. At the time, he had a. This is four years ago, so he had an evoke. I'm, I think they were kind of new then, like he had a white evoke. Picked me up. He like, I know I said that he had the, um, I know I said that he had the Audi TT when he picked me up, but he had like three cars at this time. So he had, like an Audi, that car. Then I'm, I'm trying to talk to him. I'm looking at him and we're talking and I'm like, I don't know in it. So then I, I, I must have climbed over and I sat on his lap and we started lip -sing again. And I, I, well, I, after that point when I lip him when I was sitting on his lap lip -sing him, and how I felt, like how it made me feel on my chest, I was like, mm. I just thought, nah, I don't want this to end. Like, I, I like him. But let me give you a lot a disclaimer. I have liked other boys before, like a lot, and then it's fizzled out. Sometimes time is the biggest lesson. Like, time will show you how you feel about someone. Because you can think you're in love with someone today, and the next week you're like, oh, what was that about? Because I'm really not thinking about them this week. So with me, it took me, I would say it took me years to clock that that was some real shit. Like, I didn't know that at the time. I was so unappreciated. I just didn't know. You don't, You won't know sometimes, though. So if this is the first time you're experiencing something, you might think, uh, you, you don't know. Like, you might think there's something better out there. Sometimes human beings, like, un until we compare and contrast, we don't know. So... I decided to, to, to stay with him or whatever I call we'll stay in it and then I remember my mum and dad this, my, my mum and dad are retired and they both live in Africa so they, they, like we, me and my sisters live in this house like it's just our house innit so he I when they went which was maybe two weeks later I said come over he came over week six I was I, I felt like I was in love and I told him I love you after six weeks I said I love you and he was like no you don't and I was like I swear to god I love you imagine Imagine I was in love with him and I, I didn't even want to go on a date with him initially, fam. I didn't want to go on a date with him. That's how it goes, guys. For real, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Like, sometimes, guys, if you're going to take anything from this, take this. If there's a guy that isn't your type, maybe he is cute, you find him somewhat attractive, but there's something about him that you're like, nah, that's not usually, that's, I, I date guys that do this, or I date guys that do that, or I like guys who are, okay, let's just say, this is a stupid, stupid example, but let's just say you prefer to date African boys, and you never dated a Caribbean boy, but you do find one of them cute, but you're like, nah, 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 or you're like, oh, I don't want to date a Caribbean boy because they're not circumcised, and you reject boys off that, that one nigga you give a chance to will be your soulmate. You don't, don't fucking reject people over stupid shit because this one guy I didn't want to go on, going to, but I am considering, considering small, 5%, 2%, 1%, minus, 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 minus 5 um, of, now I'll never tell you lot who it was. I can never do that. Okay, cool. 
I can never, I can never, but if you want to guess, you can guess, but I'll never let you know who it is, I'll never, I'll never tell you guys who it is, love you guys so much, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good shit, yeah, make sure you like, comment, share, all that good shit, make sure you follow me on, on Instagram, Snapchat, and I just want to let you guys know that all the love and support, I appreciate it, and I have some big surprises at the end of this year coming out, yeah? Some big surprises. You are going to be so proud of me. So keep supporting sis. Keep supporting Lani, okay? Because I'm going to make you proud. Anyway, guys, I love y'all. Bye and whatever. Bye and whatever. Bye and whatever. <laughs>